So here's our quick review of Canon C-Log3 as used on the uh, R5. And we look for really high contrast scenes like this. And this is the way that we ingested them. They were done in 8K RAW in C-Log3, dropped directly into Blackmagic Resolve using the ASUS workflow. And from then, they were dropped into 4K timelines with absolutely no corrections applied unless we otherwise label them here. So here's the scopes from that first scene that you saw, and you can see that nothing's in the dirt and nothing's above 800. The parade and the waveforms and the vector scope all look absolutely fine. We carried on looking for really high contrast scenes like this, and I think you'll agree that there's detail in the highlights and in the shadow. So this is a garden walk um, into the sun, and we're going to slow this one down here, and we've lifted the shadow. So this has been sh shadow lifted, uh, just to show you that there are details there. Then we went off and took Pippin for a walk, and the sun is absolutely streaming through these trees. And the thing I'm pleased about is that the skin tones and all the rest of it are okay. And then we went off looking for similar scenes where you were going in and out of the light. Now, I use my R5 mainly for photography. I don't ever really use it for video. But I think this C-Log3 is an absolute game changer, really. Um, so here's a low light test, and you're looking for noise in the blacks, and I think that's absolutely fine. Here's one normal contrast test, because uh, why not? And then we graded this clip right up to the legal limits, and everything's still there. So in conclusion, C-Log3 has made that Canon R5 way more useful to me. And it's lighter than the Blackmagic uh, 6K, so there you are.